knock your socks off. So that identifies the goddess. The Nag Hamidi Library is a collection of 4th century papyrus manuscripts, also referred to as the Gothic Gnostic Gospels. They were discovered in Egypt in 1945. Now let's look a bit further down at this line. Unto a land flowing with milk and honey, there were many foods associated with the goddess. Some of the most important are milk, honey, apples, grapes, and figs. Milk and honey were mixed into a ritual drink for the goddess. Now notice the next set of verses. Exodus 3 and 21. And I will give this people favor in the sight of Egypt, in the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. But every woman shall borrow of her neighbor and of her that sojourneth in her house jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment. And ye shall put them upon your sons and upon your daughters, and ye shall spoil the Egyptians. Notice here who I am is referring to as leaving and who brings the treasures of Egypt out with them. They are the women, and more accurately, the priestesses. Is it not plain that it is the women spoken? Is it not plain that it is the women spoken to? Now, let's look at who God chose to tell his commandments to Pharaoh and Pharaoh's priests. Exodus. And Moses said unto the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither heretofore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. And the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth? Or who maketh the dumb, or deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. And he said, O my Lord, send, I pray thee, by the hand of him who thou wilt send. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses, and he said, Is not Aaron the Levite thy brother? I know that he can speak well, and also, behold, he cometh forth to meet thee. And when he seeth thee, he will be glad in his heart. And thou shalt speak unto him, and put words in his mouth, and I will be with thy mouth, and with his mouth, and will teach you what ye shall do. And he shall be thy spokesman unto the people, and he shall be even, he shall be to thee instead of a mouth, and thou shalt be to him instead of, a God, instead of God. In many faiths, it is not the high priestess who talks directly to the people, but a chosen priest. In this case, they need to supply a reason why the fictional Moses didn't talk. They simply said, he talked like a retard. Now, don't laugh. Their intentions were good after all. Did you notice that Moses is no longer in Egypt? Yet there went Aaron. Boy, old Aaron sure got around back then. What really happened here is that Miriam, as the high priestess, chose her brother Aaron as her spokesperson. Well, it's time to really get down to it. We're going to look at the events which led up to and include the Exodus itself. But before we do, here is one more clue as to the identity of the deity we are discussing. Exodus 6 and 1. Then the Lord said unto Moses, Now, now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh, for with a strong hand shall he let them go, and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. And God spake unto Moses, and said unto him, I am the Lord, and I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, unto Jacob, by the name of God Almighty, but by my name, Jehovah, was I not known to them. Who is Je Jeho Jehovah? Are you sitting down? Good. Now, this is going to be a 50 megaton blast, so hold on tight. The name Jehovah is a code word used in the place of God's actual name. This code was used because, according to revision, the revisionists, 
If anyone should say God's real name, the entire universe would end. So they say. So they said. So they invented a code word known as the tetragrammaton. Tetragrammaton. This code is composed of four words. Y-H-W-H. Four letters. Y-H-W-H. It can be used in place of God's real name. You are allowed to pronounce it Jehovah or Yahweh and a couple of lesser used variations. What is important here is that this code supposedly represents not the name actually, but rather what God is. So that you can understand, let's translate Yahweh to Latin, or Y-H-W-H to Latin. Y translates to I. So the first letter is to announce that I am what follows. Now, hold on to your hats. Let's translate the final three letters and in any doubt you may have had about the gender of the deity speaking in the above verse. H-W-H equals Eve when translated to Latin. Y-H-W-H equals I E V E. What does E V E mean? E. It is the prime word for all females on this planet. It means woman. I woman. I Eve equals Y H W H. I did not make this up. It was put there in the Bible by the early writers to atone for changing so much else. They felt okay to change a woman to a man, but they drew the line at changing the identity and gender, gender of their deity. If the truth ever became known, they would be able to fall back on this and say, See, we didn't change this, and it says, I, woman. Listen to me very carefully. The above is the essence of what I have been trying to tell you. I did not write those lines, nor give them their meaning. Remember, I said earlier that I want you to focus your anger on those who try to change the gender of the deity in these verses. That person is not me. I have simply told you the truth as the above verses proves. If telling the truth has now become a crime or sacrilege, then I willingly submit myself for punishment. Know the truth, and it will set you free. Now, let's continue. Exodus 6 and 28. And it came to pass on the day when the Lord spake unto Moses in the land of Egypt, that the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, I am the Lord, speak thou unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, all that I say unto thee. And Moses said before the Lord, said before the Lord, Behold, I am of uncircumcised lips, and how shall Pharaoh hearken unto me? Moses wasn't circumcised. All the males of Israel were circumcised. None of the women were, though, and Miriam would have been one of, the, one of uncircumcised lips. Exodus. And the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a god to Pharaoh, and Aaron thy brother should be the 